What's going on you guys, this is TechHD coming at you with a brand new video and today what we're going to be taking a look at is a bunch of knives. So pretty much if you guys have been around the channel for a while then you guys know a couple months back, maybe like a year or so, I unboxed a CSGO knife, a Karama knife that became my unboxing knife from the company Elemental Knives. And now uh, Mega Knife has... Uh, contacted me and they want me to check out a couple of their CSGO knives and I honestly love the Karamba knife but there's a whole bunch of other knives that I really like and I never thought that I would be able to like collect it all so thank you Mega Knife for providing me with all the knives and to help uh, to let me review the knives so without further ado let's get into this so I got five of these all different styles and all and these are all CSGO knives and they're from Mega Knife so I'll leave links down in the description below and they have a whole bunch of other stuff other than CSGO stuff so they got like sword they got like claws like the wolverine they got crossbow weapons stuff like that and it's honestly insane and they're not that expensive either so i will definitely leave a uh, link down in the description below so that you guys go check it out but let's take a look at all this and then we're gonna see and let's see and so this is these, these are all from like oikon or something like that let me do from smallest to largest make sure camera's got this so this one actually has the csgo little piece right here and let's see so this one's the cs38 okay Ooh. so this one's a little pocket knife oh and this one's the galaxy style oh i like this one oh my god this one looks really dope not only that but like it feels really solid it feels good in the hand i like the nice grip on it like i feel like i'm not gonna you know just easily like lose this or like lose like, I feel like I got a good grip on this I feel like I'm not gonna like easily drop this or anything like that oh and it's got a little clip for putting it like on the belt or in the pocket or something nice but I really like this pocket knife this one's really cool this uh, all of these are gonna be like my unboxing knives pretty much so like every time I do a different video I'm gonna use a different knife which is gonna be really dope but this one's a nice little pocket knife really dope so you use this little piece pull that and then you can easily put it back down. And I have no idea what Mega Knife has sent me. They just told me that they're gonna send me a couple, and then we'll see how it is. And this one, yeah, this is a little bit sharp. This is nice. Okay, it's not bad. I like the teeth down here. But this one's really cool. I like the, I really like the grip of this. Nice texture and all. You can easily grab it. I feel like I'm not gonna accidentally like let go of this or anything like that. I feel like I got a good grip on this. Okay. Oh, this one's the butterfly knife. Oh my god. Okay, we got a little little screwdriver. I guess it's to loosen it probably to make it easier. And this this one comes with a little pouch. Let's go. Okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna put these away. But let's take a look at that pocket knife. The pocket knife, the butterfly knife. I'm gonna throw that pouch. Okay. Oh, so this one's a cool like rainbow type of style it's really cool very reflective and um, we got the little piece over here as well so if you do want to like make sure that this doesn't fly out when you have it in your pocket or something like that you put this piece and you press down and it lets go that one's pretty dope and then this just like that Ooh, yo this one's so dope this one doesn't look so sharp though this one looks very very dull yeah it's extremely dull so all these are like kind of like cosmetic type of styles and not really used for cutting anything. Oof. I will be practicing my butter knife skills. Yeah, I'm gonna be practicing this definitely. But this one's pretty dope. And then clip this back. There we go. This one's cool. I like the piece here. Good grip too. No, not as good as this one. This one's got a whole bunch of different texture. So I can get a really good grip, but still feels really good quality. I have no idea how much all these knives cost, honestly. But I saw online, like, they have a couple that's like 20 bucks, honestly, 30 bucks, stuff like that. But this one's really cool. I really like this one. This one's gonna be crazy. All right, next one. Uh... Oh, is this one like a, is this a Huntsman knife? Oh, this one's the, oh my god, the red looks fucking sexy. This thing ripped. I'll throw this to the side. Got the nice little pouch. I'll throw this to the side as well. 
Oh, this one has got the nice rubber grip. Oh, hell yeah, this one's gonna be dope. This one's like the Red Tiger from like Call of Duty in a way, even though it's kind of representing CSGO. But this one, this color, I love this color. Red is my favorite. You guys know that red and white is my color scheme. This thing is going to be dope. This one's a cool like little huntsman knife. It doesn't look like a bayonet or a gut hook or anything like that. This looks more like kind of like a huntsman knife. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I like the grip on this one. And this one, the teeth are crazy. And this one is sharp. And I could definitely say that this one is sharp. This one looks really cool. I don't want to mess up my white table. But yeah, this one seems really nice. Good grip on this one. Very nice. Oh, we got another Karamban knife. Oh my god, this one's got the white handle. Oh, this one looks cool. Oh, it's white and red. Why? Why you do this to me? Oh, this one is going to be my favorite. Oh, this one feels larger than the other Karamban knife that I have from Elemental Knives. The handle, though. Honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of the handle. I like the color and all, but as far as grip-wise, you know, I wish I had kind of like the rubberized grip or at least a little texture grip as the pocket knife. You know, but this one, like, cause I feel like it's a little bit slippery. I feel like I could easily, this could easily fall out of my hand or something. But I do like the color. Look at that. It's like a creamy look. Not really exactly white, but like a cream look. Red. Oh, this one's cool. You got the teeth here, got the little holes. This one's a little bit sharp. Very nice. I really like this one. If they had a better handle for this, you know, maybe a little bit of rubberized white grip or something, be dope. But I love Karama knives. Like these two, just because they're red, these two are like one of my favorites. All right, we got the other one. The last one. This one's the biggest one. Oh, this one looks like a Huntsman knife. Yep. This one is the Huntsman knife. And this one, oh my god. Oh, this got the little rubber piece here. Alright. This one feels like really good quality. This thing got some weight to it. I like the texture of the handle. Oh my god. I like how they got the teeth here and all. It's nice and sharp here. This one is like the sharpest one this one's like a nice dragon type of look this one's dope oh my god this one's so cool the little piece here but this thing this one is a badass this one i really feel like really good quality you know i got the nice weight to it got the good textured grip on the handle the knife looks really cool like this thing looks i thought this one was big this thing is seriously crazy like if you were to stab something the teeth and then pulling this thing out the teeth will definitely grab onto it which is pretty crazy so i got the crazy huntsman knife put this to the side i got the other little knife i don't know if that's a huntsman knife or something else i got my rhombin knife right here okay i got my butterfly knife there we go got my nice little Butter knife, uh, butter, butter knife, <laughs> butterfly knife, and then I got my pocket knife. This is a crazy setup. This is honestly really dope, and I, I, I do want to try some something out. So I want to try how sharp it is. You know, got a little box, and we're gonna just try see if I can at least like puncture or something like that. I think the one that's gonna be easiest is this bad boy, but. And the one that's gonna kind of struggle, maybe the butterfly knife, because this one seems like the most dull one. This one seems just more like for cosmetic type of thing, you know, just to have it somewhere on display. All right, so this one, okay, pocket knife. I'm seriously gonna dull these, but it doesn't matter. But this one is crazy, pretty sharp. Didn't really have to put so much force. All right, butterfly knife. Wait, I'm gonna put it here. Okay, that was actually not that bad. Wow, even though it's not like sharp, it really just cuts through. If I were to just stab it. Whew. Okay, it's pretty dope. 
Oh, I know this one. I got my Kurama knife, you know? Easily. Yeah. I'm just having some fun right now. This is like... I don't have to have this part of the video, but... I just want to have some fun and really just stab some stuff. Ooh. Easily. Let me, um, let me get the teeth part of it. At the same time, I don't want to stab my table. Ooh. You heard that piece with the teeth? That thing really dragged it. And then this bad boy right here. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, the teeth got it. Yep. Well. Pull. There we go. Oh, the teeth really pulled that piece right there. That's dope. Oh my god. These things are sharp. Yep. Teeth got it. And then you pull it and then pulls it with it. That one's really dope. I know I'm not holding the knives properly, but honestly, I don't care at this point. Let's see. Teeth. Nice. Try this one. Yeah, at this point, this one's the dullest one. Kawama knife. Easily. Nice and smooth. And then this one with its teeth. Very nice. Yep, that one really drags it. And this one. This one's interesting. This one's easy, but it's an interesting one. Huh. Well, this thing got all sorts of damage. It's pretty funny. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been all the knives. And like I said, I'll leave them down in the description below. And these are crazy good knives. Like, I'm honestly going to enjoy using these as unboxing knives and all. And this is going to be really dope. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. I can't do it with my hands. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!